Hello there, my name is Funchenstein and welcome to a brand new series here on my channel. So, what do we have here? You might have guessed it already. It's my hometown, Oslo. It's a map created by the great Mr. Miyagi and myself. And what an honor it has been to create a map alongside with the master himself. One of the very, very best, if not the best, map creator for City Skylines. He's such a great map builder and an even greater person. And I dare to say this is the most accurate map of Oslo out there yet, and it's now available for you to download in a workshop. I highly suggest you should check it out, because in all honesty, I think it looks pretty pretty good. So yeah, Oslo. This is an idea I've thought about ever since the release of City Skylines back in 2015. And now, the time and motivation just felt right to finally dive into this. I know it has been done before, Silver Red had a series around a year ago. He did a really good job recreating the basic city and infrastructure. But I will try to get even more detailed and accurate. I know pretty much every street in this city, so I will set the bar pretty high for myself with this project. It's such an interesting scene for a city. It's located by the sea. Surrounded by wild forest, it has lakes and it has rivers. It has sunny days and it has snowy days. The city survived the war, but it didn't survive the city planners back in the 60s. In many ways, it might be an ugly city, but it can also be a really, really beautiful city, and I will do my very best to capture all these aspects with this recreation. So, with that said, I think it's finally time to build something. And the first thing that felt natural to build is the central train station. And I have to warn you, this is not the prettiest station you have ever seen in your life. It's not like many other grand classical stations in Europe, but it does have some interesting aspects. It has been a train station at this location for over 160 years. And actually, the first building that was built in 1854 is as you see, still standing here. Since then, the station had three major expansions. The second one in 1879 with these two massive structures and a new main hall with more room for incoming and outgoing tracks. Today this part of the station functions as the indoor walking street with some shops and restaurants. After 1879 not much happened with the station until 1980. That year a tunnel that connects the western part of the city with the eastern part where this uh, station is located finally opened. And with that, a new, a modern, and maybe not so pretty station was built. And the last expansion came in the late 90s, with this new part that functioned as a terminal for the airport express train. While I'm struggling with these uh, one-way tracks, trying to make them go in the right direction, I can tell you a little bit what I've used for this build. The platforms are the modern platform modules by Titan, and these are wonderful. We can plop them everywhere as they don't need any direct road connections. What I've done is to plop no less than 10 of these down, and then connected them with each other by creating an elevated walking path system. And this worked surprisingly well. Actually, when I was almost finished with this build, I noticed a train arriving at one of the platforms. This was before I had connected the city with the highways. So it caught me by surprise that people actually arrived at the station which ended up in a quite uh, chaotic scene that I luckily caught on camera. These are the very first people arriving at the Oslo Central Station. So, as you see, some things needed to be tweaked a little bit. This is also the first time you will see me use uh, procedural objects uh, regularly in a project. And what a mod it is. Now it's finally my turn to praise procedural objects. I've seen the potential in this mod for a long time, while seeing other YouTubers creating amazing stuff with it. But it's almost as I've been scared to use it before. I remember Skibit once said that it was so easy to use as move it. And you know what? He is absolutely right and the endless possibilities with this mod are a real game changer. And it also saves you from using thousands of props, which was what killed my last project before it was 100% finished. I constantly reached the prop limit, 
and it's quite oppressive to have to go back and delete things you have done before to be able to build something new. In the middle here, I ended up using Malmö Central Station platforms created by Bear Monkey instead of the Old Market Hall. I've used the Altenburg Station, also created by Titan, as a station building from 1879. You also see the Mr. Miyagi Motors office, an industrial building, both created by Avania, resembling the station built in 1980. The buildings resembling the Airport Express train station, its uh, Hudson Yards retail and restaurant spaces by Lumino, which I have resized with the help from procedural objects. Every single props and buildings used for this project I will link to for in the description below. I will also give a special thank you to Sven Berlin, who was kind enough to create some unique and cool looking retail store signs for this project. He also created the Oslo Central Station neon sign that you will see me plop down later in this video. The coolest thing is that he actually inspired me to create my very first props. I ended up creating a bunch with Norwegian retail store signs myself and I will link to both Sven Berlin's workshop page and my own sign collection below. With that being said, if there are any props or building creators out there who would like to be a part of this project and help me out making this city look as real as possible, I will be forever grateful. There are so many things in the real life Oslo that I would love to have in game. So I'm sure we can find something cool to make, no matter who you are and what we like to create. So, I think I've talked enough now, don't you agree? I'll let the time lapse go on and I'll talk to you a little bit later in the video.
So that's it for this episode, and I'm quite happy how this build turned out, looking pretty close to the real thing. I will come back to this area at a later point since the front of this station will be a transit hub for trams, buses and metro. And hopefully it will be buzzing with life pretty soon. And again, if there are anyone who wants to help out with making some unique buildings, props or assets for this project, please let me know. I really hope you liked this video. It feels really good to finally have started off with this. And I hope to see you all again in the next episode from Oslo. Until then, bye bye.